welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. If you like the sound of that, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already part of the family, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so today we are starting a Zodiac series. Whoa, I know you guys. Another astrology thing. Listen, I love anything astrology zodiac related. What better way than to kick off the year with a new series that I'll be posting makeup looks every month corresponding to the zodiac season that we're in. So this month it's Capricorn and then we'll have Aquarius and we'll have Pisces and so forth. And we'll be going in order of the zodiac, but I thought I'll start now so we include everybody and we don't carry over into the new year. I just think it'll be some fun. Obviously, guys, don't take this anyway personally. This is just my interpretation of it. You may do your makeup differently. And also, just because you're a Capricorn or you're a um, Taurus or you're a Virgo doesn't mean that you should only do your look makeup this way. It'll be so much fun. Zodiac astrology has kind of come back on trend again. And it's just fun, you know? Take it with a grain of salt. So enough waffling. Let's get into this look. We're starting off the series with Capricorn. Capricorn is an earth sign, and I'm also an earth sign. Capricorn's an earth sign, and you guys, the sigil for Capricorns is the goat. If you're a Capricorn, go in the comments below, make your voices heard, say hi. Some of the traits with a Capricorn, also being an earth sign, is uh, being reliable, being traditional, being practical, determined. If you guys are reliable and you're determined, and you have a you set your mind to a task and you go for it and you do it, and you know what it, what it takes, and you go and do what it takes. All right, so enough from me about the traits. Let's see how I got this look, and then we'll come back and chat about why I picked it, the colors and everything like that, all right? So I'm filling in my brows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and I'm using shade five. Then I'm just putting some primer. I'm using the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer just to neutralize, just because it's got a bit of color, just to neutralize my eyes. Then I'm going into the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Baby Heels, hitting the shade Tempura for Tempura, and I'm just setting that primer. Then we go back into that Soft Glam Palette and we're getting the shade Cypress Umber. And I'm using my Sigma E35 brush and we're just going to use it as my transition shade. So I'm just going to keep blending. I'm blending this shade. Then I'm going into my Zoeva 223 cream shader brush. It's just a flat brush. Do your fiber hairs. And I'm going into the shade Noir, also from the Soft Glam palette. Any black shade will do. And then I'm just going to sort of carve out where I want this shadow to go. So I'm carving my crease, not really cutting it. I'm just carving it and making a wing shape. Instead of blending the shadow on, I'm placing it, but being very precise about it. So I'm just placing it and drawing like a wing shape, but bringing it inward. And I'm just bringing that shadow down as well. I'm just carving and then bringing that black shadow down. And I'm just placing it on that outer V. And quite high up because of my, my lid space. And I'm going back into the E35. And I'm taking that Cypress Umbra shade and using that to blend the edges of the black. Rather than blending the black, I'm blending the edges with a different shadow. And then I'm, that's how it looks so far, a bit blended. And we're just going to keep building that up. So using the brown to blend the edges of the black so we don't take the black too far up. That way you have more control. Going to the Nars Provocateur palette using the shade Smash It Up, that sort of gunmetal blue grey, using that Zoeva brush. And we're just going to place it on my lid. So I'm just patting it down. Placing it down. Now I'm going to switch my brush to my usual MAC 242 with the same shade. It's just picking up a bit more, a bit better for me. And um, bringing it really close down to the lower left, to the lash line. Placing it from the inside to the outside of the lid. Stopping where that black is at the wing shape. So just placing it, patting it down. Then I'm going to my MAC 217 a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going back into Noir from Soft Glam. And this time I'm just placing it on that outer V like a C shape, sort of. Really, really precise movements with this brush. Because it's so big, it can get carried away with it very easily. Small blending motions. 
really small motions, blending that in like a C shape, bringing it inwards. So starting from that V, bringing it in, really small motions. If you go too big with this brush, it will get far away from you. So I'm going back into my E35, I've not picked any product up and we're just blending those edges. And this is why we use a transition shade as well, so it's not just black straight away and it's a bit easier to blend. Blending that. Then we're going into Indica from the Melt Cosmetics Haystack. And it's a nice silver. Going back into my MAC 242, just flipping it to the other side. Placing it on the centre of the lid as like a highlight. So just tapping it down. And just in like a little circle. It doesn't really have to be precise, just a small circle. Blend pat, and that's what it's looking like so far. I'm also putting on the inner corner. If you find you've lost some of that initial gunmetal the blue shade, you can put that back on the corners. Now I'm going into Cypress Umbar on my lower lash line. Any pencil brush or blending brush will do. Blending that along the lower lash line the whole way. Then we're going back into Noir. And we're just putting that on the really outermost third of the lower lash line. Just pat that there. Small amount. Taking our 217 whatever blending brush and just blending that and meeting it to the top shadow. Going over my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, doing a wing and putting on some Ardell lashes. Using the Hourglass Caution Mascara to do my lashes as well. Blend those. Then we're going in with the Hourglass Primer, the Mineral Veil Fly Primer. Priming my face and popping the Too Faced Born This Way foundation as my base. I'm in the shade Chai. Using also the concealer in the shade Maple under my eyes, setting my under eyes with the Born This Way powder in translucent medium and then using the hourglass veil to set the rest of my face as well. Really nice, has a nice sheen. And I'm also using the Natasha Denona Sculpting Powder to contour and I'm in shade 5 deep. That's the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope if you're a Capricorn, you enjoyed the look. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but I just wanted to do Capricorns justice as well. Being an Earth sign, Capricorns tend to get a bad rap for being boring and just being like, when it comes to makeup, they're usually represented in browns, just neutral shades. So I kind of wanted to do something fun, but also pretty typical and traditional, but embodying that. So, with Capricorn, the colours for Capricorn usually are blacks, dark browns and charcoal greys. Hence a smoky eye, hence a nude lip and also the colours that I selected. My, tr my transition shade, I picked the shade Cypress Umber from Anastasia Beverly Hills. That shade is in the Soft Glam palette but it's also in the Modern Renaissance palette. Any sort of cool dark brown works so I just use that in my transition so I don't just go straight to black. Then I use Noir, of course any black shade will work. Any black shade you could use, doesn't matter. And then the beauty comes with this palette. So if you watch my Becca Holiday haul, which I'll link up here, you will have noticed that I got the NARS um, Provocateur palette. This palette's gorgeous. I just look at it and I want to do a smoky eye every day. So I knew when I saw this shade here and it's called Smash It Up, I knew the shade needed to be used. So for me, when I saw this shade, this blue grey shade here, I think it really embodies that spirit of the Capricorn. This to me just seems like a practical colour, traditional. It's black, but there's a bit of a twist and you've got that dark, you know. Rather than doing just a typical smoky eye with just neutral shade, I wanted to jazz it up. And then for even more jazz, I used a Melt shadow. So this is part of the Haystack from Melt Cosmetics. And this is the shade Indica or Indica. Um, it is from the Haystack and it is such a gorgeous, it's like a, not even gunmetal, but it's it's like, a, it's like an icy silver, but there's a bit of a blue undertone to it, but it is honestly stunning and it's not a glitter, it's like a sheen, you can see it on the back of my hand, it's like a nice sheen, you know, so I wanted to put that, I put that on the centre of the lid to highlight and sort of give some dimension and also on the inner corner, so for me, I just saw these shades and I said, yeah, this is a cap this is Capricorn for me. This is the look I'm going to do. No way, shape or form, boring. But I kept the rest of the makeup pretty neutral, nice glow contour and just kept it nice and simple. Did a nude lip and I also went for a little bit of a dramatic sort of liner, a brown, dark brown liner. So I pulled the browns in from there. I didn't want to go too brown on the lips, but not too more. I used the ColourPop Pitch 
lip liner and I also use the MAC lipstick in touch. So that is what is on my lips right now. And now the interesting part comes with the cheeks because I use three different products. So for my highlighter, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Breezy collab, this one. And then for blush, I use two blushes. So this blush is the Hourglass Strobe Lighting Blush in Brilliant Nude. So I used this, I got this for Christmas. I also use the NARS Dolce Vita blush and I got this in like a Christmas set. So yeah, that was my sort of thought process when coming up with the look and that is what I envisioned. So this is what I envisioned when I say Capricorn. This is the look, so I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, don't get offended if the look I do for your side is not something you would ever do or you think embodies it. It's just my interpretation. Right, so that concludes today's video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. All the products mentioned and the products that I also used that weren't mentioned will be in the description box down below. Please comment below if you are a Capricorn. Say hi or just comment below whatever sign you are. It will just be fun to see what everyone's zodiac signs are. If you were curious, and you don't want to wait, I am a Virgo, if you didn't already know and could tell, but um, I'm a Virgo, I'm an Earth sign as well. So this is gonna be so much fun. So next up will be Aquarius, that will be next month. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be great. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Hello to all the new people, we've had such an influx of new people, I love it. Hi guys, thank you so much for seeing this channel, picking this channel and choosing to be part of the family. On your way out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos. I can't wait to see you back here again.